Hi everyone. Guess where I am today? That's right. I'm in the woodlands. Now our today's story is set in a place like this. Can you guess which story that might be? That's right. It's the Gruffalo written by Julia Donaldson and illustrated by Axel Scheffler. Now in this story, the mouse encounters several dangerous animals who wants to eat him. Shall we find out how he saves himself? Ready? A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, Fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a Gruffalo. Hey, Gruffalo, what's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo, why, didn't you know? He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and a terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here by these rocks and his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox? I'm off, fox said. Goodbye little mouse and away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know there's no such thing as a gruffalo. Off went the mouse through the deep dark wood an owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to little brown mouse? Come and have tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you owl, but no, I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why didn't you know? He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. Where are you meeting him? Here by this, sh this stream and his favorite food is owl ice cream. Owl ice cream? Do it do. Goodbye little mouse and away owl flew. Silly old owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to little brown mouse? Come and have feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no, I'm going to have feast with a Gruffalo. Hey Gruffalo! What's a Gruffalo? A Gruffalo? Didn't you know? His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Where are you meeting him? Here by this lake. And his favorite food is scrambled snake. Scrambled snake? It's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse, and away snake slid. Silly old snake, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a... That's right, Gruffalo. Oh, but who is this creature with the terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws? He has knobbly knees and turned out to what? At the end of his nose, his eyes are orange, his tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help! Oh no, it's a Gruffalo! And here he is. My favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. Good, said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this wood. Just walk behind me and soon you'll see everyone is afraid of me. All right, said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. 
You go ahead and I'll follow after. They walked and walked and the gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the leaves ahead. It's snake, said the mouse. Why snake? Hello. Snake took one look at the gruffalo. Oh, crams, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he slid to his log pile house. You see, said the mouse. I told you so. Amazing, said the gruffalo. They walked some more till the gruffalo said, I hear hoot in the trees ahead. Do you know which animal that is? That's right. It's owl, said this mouse. Why, owl, hello. Owl took one look at the gruffalo. Oh dear, he said, goodbye little mouse. And off he flew to his treetop house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Astounding, said the gruffalo. They walked some more till the gruffalo said, I can hear feet on the path ahead. Guess who that might be? It's the fox, said the mouse. Why, fox, hello. Fox took one look at the gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And off he ran to his underground house. Well, Gruffalo, said the mouse, you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is beginning to rumble. My favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble, said the Gruffalo. And quick as the wind, he turned and fled. All was quiet in the deep dark world. The mouse found a nut, and the nut was good. Look, he's sitting here enjoying his nut. I love this story. I love the way he uses his clever tricks to evade danger. Now, the moral of the story is, doesn't matter how big or small